Let me ask you a question. Have you ever been stranded? You know, stuck? Maybe your car broke down or you missed a flight? Just somewhere where you're not the one that's going to get you out of this situation. Who's most likely to help you during that time? Can you think about it? Do you have friends that you could call and they drive no matter what the distance is to help you? Do you have natural people groups that you look around to see or any of those people around? They kind of naturally are attracted to someone like me and they might come alongside to help. Do you see certain officials or certain places that are there when you're most in need? What happens when you and I are stranded? Who's there to help? How can God use that to transform our lives? Let's talk about that as we meet in the upper room. Our devotional for the day is entitled, A Good Deed, for Thursday, July 16th, 2020. Our scripture reading is 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 9 through 11. Our scripture verse is, Jesus said, I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. That's Matthew chapter 25, verse 35, from the New International Version. Our thought for the day is this. I can show God's love by trusting others and offering help. Maybe you don't know where to find today's scripture lesson or devotion, log on to upperroom.org slash devotionals. On that page, you'll see a link that clicks you to today's devotion. If you're looking at this at a different date, just simply put the date for today's devotional in the search engine, and you'll be able to find it quickly. Go ahead. Pause. We'll wait for you. Well, the author of today's devotional shares this familiar passage of Matthew where Jesus talks about practical living by faith. I was hungry and you fed me. I was in jail, you visited me. I was thirsty and you gave me a drink. And their group added to the experience. I was stranded and you gave me a ride. What a fascinating part of their testimony as they share this story about being a group that simply had a bus that broke down. And they went to God's people, a church, and ask if they could borrow one of the two buses in the parking lot. I, I don't know about you and I. What would you do if a group showed up and said our bus broke down? Can we borrow your car? Can we borrow your van? We'll bring it back. Uh, just trust us. It's a leap of faith. In this case, uh, this church stood out. The secretary helped them and gave them drinks and served them food, so much so that the group not only went on this trip, but they returned back the following Sunday to thank them with gifts and with praise, glorifying God for what he did through them. What kind of a life is that? To A, be a part of a community that you can trust when you're stranded. God will provide, even if it's in the most strange ways. And most often, God provides through other believers. They may not attend the same church that you do, the same denomination. They may worship in a completely different way than you do on a Sunday morning. But oftentimes, God uses the whole body of Christ to be a blessing. But on the other hand, God calls us to be the people that are wisely using his resources. But see, God's at a bigger work. And maybe when someone's stranded, not just stranded with a car, maybe they're stuck in their career and they don't know what to do. Maybe their home life makes them feel stranded. Maybe personally, they just feel abandoned. Are you and I the type of person that give generously of God's resources, whatever we have, saying, I want you to use this and I want God to be blessed through you. Just give it back when you're done. We trust you with it. That's a radical way to live. A type of faith that trusts that God's the provider and he's in charge of their integrity, their follow through, and you are simply the means by which God uses to do rescuing of people who are stranded. Perhaps you and I can begin the process of thinking through how we would act 
in a situation like that. So that when it appears in big and small ways, sometimes physical, sometimes just emotional need, when we see people that are stranded, we're there to help because we expect the same from God using other people in our lives. Let's live like that today. Let's close with a prayer found in our devotional. Gracious Father, thank you for the kindness of your children who help others stranded on the road of life. Amen. Thanks again for joining us today. You can find links to theupperroom.org plus these video devotional times on the website that's on the screen in front of you. Plus, there are more interactive features like requesting a prayer request or asking a question. We pray that God blesses you until we meet again in the upper room.